Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to map these pins to this connector. So I'm going to start with ground, and ground is found one, two, three, four, five down. And when it's plugged in in this orientation, it would be on this side. So when we flip it like this, it's going to be on the opposite side. So we do one, two, three, four, five down, and that's going to be ground. All right, then we can do power VCC. And so that is found one, two down. And again, we have to flip the sides. So this would be one, two down here, and that's going to be our power. All right, then for the other colors, it's basically arbitrary. I chose to make them roughly the same colors as I found on my uh, clip. So just go down the line. Chip select on this side is going to be orange because I can see from my clip that it's using orange over here. This pin one right there corresponds to this orange. So I go ahead and put that in on the opposite side from VCC. So that's gonna be orange. And then the next color down that I have on my particular chip is miso, and that was green. So I put that in. And then the next one down from that is right protect or data quad two, which on my clip is sort of purplish. So I put that in as well. And now I just have the other side to do. So we've got hold clock and mosi on the other side. So again, I just kind of went roughly with what's here. So my hold is going to be blue. So I'm going to put blue in. My clock was sort of a grayish, so I'm going to put that in. And then finally, the right protect. Well, the ground was set to white on this thing, but I already am using black for ground, so I'm just going to use white for right protect. Or sorry, I'm on the other side, not clock, uh, the MOSI. So the MOSI is going to be white on this. All right, so now I've got my little adapter set and I can use this and plug it into the breadboard. So now I'm going to, you know, select some locations, plug it into the breadboard. And based on that, I'm then going to sort of arrange it in the same arrangement that you would see on a spy flash chip so that we have all the pins in the right order uh, so that it makes sense. And you can then connect it back to the Dediprog as well as the logic analyzer.